Junction Design uses a simple graphic based wizard to create junction fillets. We can also regrade fillets by adjusting levels to improve drainage if required. Traffic islands can be created if required and also tidying the junction strings. From the Junction Design toolbar select Create Fillet. The through road and side road carriageway edge strings are required and also a curved type. Then define a radius for a simple arc or for the center curve of a three center curve. For a three centered curve the default arc ratios are 2, 1, 3 flowing in the direction of the junction fillet. Amend the ratios to suit local requirements. Be careful when using this function with unequal ratios as the junction fillet string follows the direction of the side road strings so be aware that this may reverse the arrangements of the arcs from that which is expected. If required you can select regrade junction from the junction design toolbar. The junction fillet may be regraded to improve drainage or perhaps match thresholds. The user can define lengths for the connecting strings that are added to the profile. A ground profile can also be added. Quick vertical alignment tools are used to modify the junction fillet. Quick vertical alignment uses the IP method for the vertical design. The regrading of the junction need not be constrained merely to the fillet string. The adjacent carriageway edges may also be adjusted over the lead in and lead out lengths. Traffic islands can be created from the junction design toolbar. This is a quick and easy way to design junction filter lanes. It is a graphics driven wizard for data entry. Select the junction fillet and select the island template from the style folder. Edit the style to local standards if required and save. When editing the traffic island template set the values as needed and use save as to store in the public or project style folder for reuse. When the junction design is complete you can then select tidy junction. This option removes or trims extra strings in the junction and there is an undo function. Traffic islands must be placed before using tidy junction. Shoulders, footways and verges can be added later. To join the design to the survey we use the same create fillet option as used before but the survey model is selected for the through road string and the existing road string will be copied to the design model. An XY pick will be required for a point near the fillet location. In junction design we are going to select the icon from the MX road toolbar. The first icon is create fillet. I left click on that. I need to pick my through road string for the design and I'm going to create a simple fillet on the south side of the junction. So my through road string will be the left channel of road one. The junction road string will be the right channel of road two. The radius I'm going to set at 15 meters. I don't need a three center curve, this is just a single fillet. So I hit next. MX goes away, finds the tangent points where the fillets hit the channels, and we also get a vertical cubic spline. So this will be leveled with a, a, a sweet profile. I'll be able to check that later on. The options I've got, I can select next to accept and continue. If I'd made a mistake, I could hit back, uh, undo this fillet and try again. We could cancel and come uh, out of the wizard, or I can at a later stage finish to accept and exit the wizard. I'm going to carry on. So I hit next, and I'm going to go through a three centered curve to the north of the junction. The through road string stays as it is, but this time I need to pick the left channel of road two. I'm going to go for a three centered curve and I'm basing this on a radius of 20 meters. 
I go next I now need to select the ratios for the compound curve I'm going to go for a 2 1 3 which is the default so I'm expecting to see a 40 meter 20 meter going into a 60 meter radius if I hit next I can see that it's put the fillet in for me again it's been leveled and I'm just checking the radii I've got 40 meters at the start going into a 20 going into a 60 meter radius if this wasn't what I expected I could hit undo and reverse the ratio to be a 3 1 2 but this is okay so I'm going to hit finish later on in the design when we're looking at pavement layer design I'm going to require cross sections cut where the fillets are tangential to my row one center line so I'm just going to take this opportunity using the perpendicular report just to get this information I'm selecting the master string MC tent I'm going to right click point I'm going to select the southern fillet and there's a nice little option on the right hand mouse button to find the first or last point automatically and I'm going to go to last point that finds the last point on the fillet and I'm going to drop a perpendicular down to the road center line I hit the apply there's the information and I'm just going to annotate the drawing with the chainage so I'm going to pick an XY position and all I require is the change so I'm going to uncheck the information that is not required and I'm going to go apply and I'm going to repeat this on the northern fillet so I come out of that panel I click in point I select anywhere on the northern fillet because I can go right hand mouse button last point it automatically snaps to the last point I'm going to drop a perpendicular down to my road center line there's the information I'm going to annotate and this is handy because it remembers the information that I required before all I need is an XY and I annotate now I have the information for these changes I want to add them to the the master string as they don't exist yet so I'm going to go to modify edit point interpolate a point onto a string I select the master string I'm going to go right hand mouse button chainage and I'm going to type in 427.7 and I'm going to apply that chainage I also need to repeat that at the top of the design there so my change is 493.026 I can apply that and I'll just close the panel this just means when I cut cross sections at a later date extra sections will be cut at these two change positions I'm now going to add a traffic island to the northern fillet on this junction so I'm going to create a traffic island my fillet I pick from the display and I'm going to browse to the MX library of styles now I've got a 3.65 turn lane and there is a 3.8 turn lane in the library so I'm going to select this go open and I can edit this style by selecting this button here and I'm going to set a turn lane offset to 0.5 meters this will leave space for the white lining I'm also going to set my turn lane width to 3.65 meters I can also show details it's just a toggle in here I can put in a description training 3.65 I'm also going to put in if required curb widths and heights because not only do we build this traffic island but we construct the curbs as well I'll leave these as the default for now I'm now going to save as because I don't want to override the 
oh sorry, overwrite the style in the public library. So I go save as. I'm going to make sure I go to the project. I'm going to call this training 3.65 and I'll save that template for future use. I will now close the panel. I can see as I've loaded this style and all I need to do is hit OK. And MX is constructing the traffic island. Remember this has also been designed in 3D. Levels have been applied to all of these new features and if I window in you should be able to just pick up the bottom of curb, top of curb, back of curb. They've all been designed using the traffic island function. Now I'm going to join the design to the survey road. So I'm going to create fillets. My through road string is the surveyed channel. So I need to pick my survey for the model name. My through road string is the surveyed channel. My junction road string is the left channel of the second design road, MC20, so CE20. We've got a radius of 12.5 meters. And remember, in this option, MX will copy the survey channel into the design model and we'll be able to complete the filleting. So if I go next, it's just requiring a quadrant where the center of the fillet radius is. And I'm going to pick just in this position here. And I'm going to go next. There's the junction fillet. And also, if you remember, I said that we copied the survey channel into the design model. And of course, because we have the string naming convention, a master string is also created. And this actually sits on the channel. And we can tidy this up later. So I'm going to go OK. There's the junction fillet. Remember, this has been leveled as well. And I'm going to now hit Next to continue the through road string. And it remembers that we've copied it through into the design model, so I don't have to change that. All I need to do is select the right channel of the design road. I hit Next, and we've completed that fillet. Remember, this has also been designed vertically. We have a cubic spline. I'm going to finish. I've completed the fillet creation. Now going to tidy up the, the junctions. We use tidy junction off the junction design toolbar. I'm going to pick my fillet. I'm going to pick the southern fillet. And as you can see in the preview, there's a before and after. And I hit next. What MX does, it drapes the design channel over the fillet. And it will actually copy the sorry, move the fillet into an undo tidy model. So if I make a mistake, I can always get back to an untidied position in the design. My preview shows the drape channel. So I'm going to go next to accept that. If I'd made a mistake, I could always undo and start again. So remember, it's move the fillet into an undo model and drape the channel over the fillet. I'm going to pick the Next fillet, again it drapes the design channel over the fillet, gives me a preview, I'm happy with that so I repeat the next and I can quickly complete the tidying on the down at the survey so I pick my fillet I hit next. There's the preview again. I'm going to go next to accept that. And remember, there is also this undo tidy button. If you make a mistake, you can select the fillet from the drop down and you could undo your tidy junction. I'm going to cancel that because I want to complete this by now picking the fourth fillet. And I'm going to go next. 
So I've now got a tidy junction. I can hit finish to accept and exit the wizard. To complete the junction design, I'm just going to quickly tidy up the junction with the surveyed road. If you remember, the fillet option actually copied the surveyed channel into the design model and also created a master string. So I'm going to quickly go modify, edit strings, delete strings, and I'm going to pick my master string and I'm going to OK to delete that. And I'm also now going to truncate the channels in the junction area. So I'm going to go to modify, edit strings, truncate strings. The string I want to truncate is this design channel CE00. I also know that this feature is running from the top of the page down to the bottom. So I'm going to go from the start to a truncate to a point. If I go right hand mouse button, I'm going to go for intersection and pick the intersection of the fillet with the channel. And I'm going to go apply. I'm then going to truncate from the end of the channel back to an intersection. Again, the intersection of the fillet and I hit OK. So I've truncated the channel to tidy up the design.